Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is a Dusky 256 behind me. We're about to uh, scrub her down, get her all polished up and ceramic coated. Uh, we're gonna use Elite Master Coat Pro, uh, which is my, it is, so the evolution of my coatings has come so far. And uh, we developed a marine coating several years ago for a major boat builder well several of them they own several smaller companies as well uh, and so everlasting marine x and everlasting showstopper x those two combined if you will the technologies between the two have become elite master coat pro so with the latest update of our triple trifecta technology, which is ceramic, acrylic, and graphene. So our ceramic acrylics with the addition of the graphene is awesome. So Elite Master Coat Pro is, well, the pro version of Elite Master Coat Lite. So EMC Lite is my three year ceramic coating. It can be used on boats, RVs, motorcycles, autos, all of that. Um, some people try to fool you into believing that if it says motorcycle on it, it can only be used on a motorcycle, or if it says car, it can only be used on cars. Well, we've designed our ceramic coatings to work very well on pretty much any surface you put it on, as long as it's properly prepped. Uh, and what I mean by that is polished with no oxidation left behind, and uh, a prepped surface. So with that said, we no longer have five different coatings. We have narrowed it down to two that are the best of the best and literally the best I've ever produced. So if you've ever liked any of my coatings in the past, EMC Lite and EMC Pro are considerably I wouldn't say better, but they are. Uh, they're just a different level of amazing. So anyway, this particular boat is getting going to get Elite Master Coat Pro, and uh, I'm gonna be sanding it a little bit. Uh, not a ton, let me show you. All right, so what we have here is a major repair that was done there. <clears throat> As we go up to the bow area, you can see that there's been a major repair done in this area as well right here so those areas are no longer going to be yellow uh, there was also a major repair there in this area so my job is going to be to make it look as good as it can we are going to be polishing the evan roods i'm going to get the transom looking all nice i haven't even been up in this boat yet yeah it's not horrible definitely Need some TLC. Before I start hosing it down, I'm gonna have Tony get up in here and pull that cover off and then bring the vacuum in and get all this, all the leaves and stuff out. Then we'll start scrubbing her down and get her polished. Transom isn't too, too bad. Definitely needs some work, uh, but we are gonna get, us, get this thing shining up again. Uh, I am going to sand around these decals to uh, see what I can do with those. That's a little odd to me. Huh. This is yellow, and underneath the decals was white. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to do a little bit of polishing and figure out what's going on here. Uh, I will have to use my hull brightener to remove some of the yellowing from the bottom. All that stuff. But that's it guys, I'll bring you up inside uh, once we get rolling. But I wanna get all this oxidation off and shine her up. Put some uh, EMC Pro on there and uh, we'll be good to go. The other cool thing about EMC Pro is I'm not gonna nickel and dime you like the other companies do. We created this stuff to go on pretty much every exterior surface. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you wanna apply the EMC Pro or even EMC Lite, to your wheels, that's fine. It is a high temp, really, really strong coating for wheels, 
brake calipers. It works amazing on paint. It works amazing on gel coat. Uh, it's just a great all around uh, coating for any exterior surface and it works very well. In fact, you can put it on uh, plastics. So that Lexan windshield, we're gonna put it on that inside and out. We're gonna put it on all of that aluminum for the T-top. Uh, I'm gonna put it all over all the aluminum for the leaning post and all the other stainless steel jewelry on the boat and that kind of thing. We are definitely going to be coating it all. So I'm gonna stop babbling. You guys see what she looks like right now and I'm gonna get to work. So I'll bring you back when I've got more to show. All right, so we've got some progress done. You can't see it from this angle, but I got all these cleaned up with the Marine Series Vinyl Mold and Mildew Cleaner. Uh, you literally just spray them down with the stuff and let them sit. Generally, you let them sit in the sun. These weren't that bad. So I just sprayed it on and let it sit for a while. Then I hosed it off. So these are pretty much good to go. We'll give them a wipe down before they go back in the boat. But as you can see, this boat does not look absolutely amazing. However, I have sanded the entire hull with, uh, I like to use these Merca discs because I have a ton of them laying around. However, uh, I have developed my own custom tempered abrasive, uh, basically discs like that, six inch and five inch. Uh, I, I used a company uh, to develop those with the uh, abrasives that we are mixing for our smart polishes. So anyway, so you can see I sanded the whole, well, this side of the hole was sanded with a thousand grit on that DA and you can see how dull it looks, but I have polished from right here all the way back to right there. So you can see the awesome gloss, but you can also see where that sticker was and you can see that this boat was originally a very light yellow you can see in this view here this is all nice and shiny and this is all sanded and not shiny but i've got amazing gloss up there but the problem is you can still see where the decal was the customer removed that i did not remove it it was gone whenever it got here however when he sent me pictures of it before while I was trying to decide on the actual, um, uh, when I was trying to decide on the actual package uh, that it needed, uh, the stickers were there. Sorry, I'm just trying to think about how this is gonna turn out. And uh, the reality is I'm doing my job. You can see we're getting all the gloss back, but there were some repairs made and they did not color match it. So you can see all the white gel coat down here or the off color, I should say. Um, so I, I don't know. It's going to be shiny, but it's not going to be like completely yellow everywhere. So I started polishing right here and I polished all the way back to there. So, all right, well, I'm gonna keep going because this is really all we can do. Um, the reality is, if he would have picked the more expensive Infinity Marine, I would have been able to sand everything like you see and then spray on Infinity Marine everywhere and it would literally amplify the gloss but sanding it, I thought would make it a more uniform, uniform yellow, but because it's just pretty beat up, um, the color is just not going to come back, unfortunately. So I guess I didn't rinse this area. That's actually uh, sanding dust. So, all right, well, I'm going to get back to it. I am using the, uh, I don't have the label on here, but this is the, uh, the new professional marine Infinity Marine Works Oxidation Assassin. This stuff is amazing. The cut is just absolutely amazing, but the finish is even better than that, as you can see. Um, I'm, I am using a, an aggressive buff and shine double-sided wool pad on the DeWalt cordless rotary. And uh, it's definitely getting some stuff done, but we shall see if the customer is happy with this. 
I could probably keep sanding it. I just, the problem is if I, if I sand it, if I keep sanding it, I can get that yellow to be gone. The problem is we didn't agree on that and I don't have time to do all this and not charge them a little bit more because we have a Hurricane Ian coming our way. Today's Monday, it's set to hit Wednesday night and I gotta get this thing done. So I'm gonna think on it as I polish and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we've been working on this boat all day long. It's been a long process. Um, it's an older boat. I think it's a 2003 Dusky 256. And I'll tell you, it was, it was a little neglected as far as polishing goes. And I wouldn't say that it was the dirtiest boat we've ever cleaned, that's for sure. Um, it's decently kept, but it hasn't been detailed properly as far as uh, having a polish done you know, every year, every two years or whatever. Um, I got the hull on the starboard side looking pretty good. Uh, as far as the port side goes, I'm not done with that yet. Um, I had to jump in the interior, take care of a few things in the interior. And once I got up in here, I didn't want to get out till I was done because I'm not tracking stuff in and out. That's counterproductive, and you guys know I'm not about chasing my tail. I'm about efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. So, with that said, let me show you what we've got done. So, I'm in the uh, interior of this uh, Dusky 256. We scrubbed down everything. We did use a ton of the Marine Series uh, vinyl mold and mildew cleaner. Uh, Tony polished the engine cowls. I cleaned and acid washed the lower portion of the engines. Uh, this swim platform was absolutely disgusting. I got that all straight. Looks pretty good. Um, got the non-skid all cleaned up. Got the console all cleaned up and dialed in. I got the windshield and everything else in here ceramic coated um this is not the glossiest thing in the world but it looks super nice super clean it's an 03 what do you want um if i'd have brought my squeegee i'd have pushed all this water out but i didn't so i'm not gonna let it dry anyway uh there was literally mold on every single surface inside this boat we got it all off including uh, all the way around this console it was mold everywhere but there was a lot of mold inside the head so we got those walls looking great i don't think uh i didn't shoot any video of the interior um now all the electronics are in here. Uh, I did not want to directly spray any water on the electronics. Didn't want to get them wet. Even though this is a boat, they're not, uh, you're not supposed to directly uh, put the electronics in contact with water. So I just kind of stayed away from all of the electronics and uh, I got all that I could clean in there. It looks pretty good. We got all the mats all the lockers all the cubbies everything is nice and clean let me show you in here Ugh. so we got all the hatches all the jams nice and clean clean the uh, cubbies out pretty good um i got up there on top of the t-top and sprayed all of that down it was pretty clean up there nothing fancy floor is all nice and clean again we're got some standing water i might try to push them out with a brush uh this standing water but this is where we're at all the vinyl is nice and clean and there's no mold on anything we ended up having to use the vinyl mold and mildew cleaner on all of the surrounding uh, vinyl, all this, and all those mats up front. So just a whole lot of mold, typical for a boat in Florida. But she's all good now. Now it's time for me to get off this thing and finish up the hull and call it a day. So that has been the interior and it looks awesome.
and the engines and swim platform. All right, I'll bring you back when I got the hull done and that will complete the detail. All right, boys and girls, it is 7.30 p.m. and the storms are about to start rolling in. We are definitely worried about uh, all these communities here. You got roofers working late to get things done, but that hurricane is gonna come through here and probably cause a bunch of damage to these houses. Hopefully not. Anyway, 03 Dusky 256, done. Um, I did call the owner and talk to him about how the hull looks. This was a like a canary yellow hull. Just a very, well, I don't know if a canary is light yellow or dark yellow. I don't even know what a canary is. I, th I think it's a bird. Anyway, <laughs> who gives a shit, right? Um, so we polished the engines. I did not polish the bodies because they are incredibly oxidized and peeling in some areas. Uh, but you can see the uh, cowls are nice and glossy. The transom is nice and glossy everywhere. Polished everything. Uh, I showed you the interior. So this is just about the hull. And the hull is very glossy. So I sanded with a thousand grit. Then I compounded with oxidation assassin. And then I polished it with gel coat finishing polish. I did the uh, top rail. Uh, we did the same process on the interior, but the interior is incredibly bad. I mean, not that the hole's not bad, but it was really, really bad. So anyway, I got everything on the interior ceramic coated, got that, uh, look how cl clean and clear that uh, acrylic is. I got that all ceramic coated. Uh, we used the uh, Elite Master Coat Pro. So I got the top rail done, both sides of the hole done. You can see the in incredible gloss, but you can also see how patchy and nasty it is. There was a big repair done here and a few on the other side um, over the years, but it is what it is. This side is actually the worst as far as where that decal was. Uh, that adhesive pulled all of the color out. I mean, it's bad. and. Uh, I sanded over this with 600 grit and then I followed that with a thousand grit and then I hit it with the oxidation assassin. I had to do that on both sides. So the hull is nice and glossy. Everything is very deep cleaned. Looks awesome. The swim platform is really nice. I mean, you can't deny the gloss, that's for sure. But I just wish the hull was in better shape. Um, I just had to remove a bunch of rust from the stain stainless steel step ladder. Get that all put up back in the way. I, uh, I, po I polished all up in there. It just, it's an old beat up boat. I mean, unfortunately that's where we're at. It's a very nice boat. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice. It just, uh, if it had been polished regularly throughout its life, it wouldn't have needed all of this and it probably wouldn't look that bad. Um, I don't know what the history of the boat is, uh, but from seeing it, it definitely needed some polishing. Uh, and, and the reality is the sun may have beat up the gel coat uh, to the point where it's not, you know, you're, you're not gonna get all the color back out of it, uh, but really, it could have been because it was polished all the time. I don't think that's the case. It just didn't seem that way to me. Uh, we also just wiped down the aluminum trailer just to get all my polishing residue and dust off. The guide posts had uh, basically mold all over it. The interior panels, like all of the interior gel coat had mold everywhere. So we had to use the uh, Marine Series vinyl mold and mildew cleaner all over that interior. I used a whole gallon of that stuff on this boat. So uh, it's nice and mold free. Uh, the belly was all kinds of like yellowed from brackish and nasty water. But you can see all the way back, it's all kinds of white. Again, we're in low light because it's 7.30 p.m. in Tampa, Florida. You can see where there's been repairs done all over the keel and the bottom of the belly and 
all up in here. But look at that gloss. I got the process and the products that'll get you done. Get you definitely straightening things out. But again, the belly's all white again. Everything's super glossy. I ceramic coated it with the Elite Master Coat Pro. And uh, you saw the interior earlier, so I'm calling it a day. What you gonna call this day? Well, it's a day. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. Uh, if you've got any questions for me about my products, the ones I've mentioned today, the ones that I used, uh, any of the products at detailjuice.com, uh, reach out. If you'd like to schedule a detail, if you'd like for me to come and detail your auto, boat, RV, motorcycle, well, basically, if it's got a steering device, I'm on it. So if you need me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Yes, I am the owner of DetailJuice.com, the product line, and that is my personal cell phone number. That's actually the number of the phone that I'm filming this video with, as a matter of fact. So I give you a direct line to me if you need me uh, as customer support for my products, my processes, and basically, I wanna help you with your detailing endeavors. Let me know if you need me. Check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. And um, there's a group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. If you, if you want to get into that group and be a part of something bigger than detailing, you will be doing yourself a huge favor because we talk about all my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, again, if you need me, let me know. 813-846-4406. Gary Dean out because these storms are heading my way. Yeah, it's about to get real nasty over here. It's raining all over there. That big storm's heading straight for me. Uh, you can probably hear the wind has picked up significantly since we started the video. Look how nice it is over there. And then, yuck. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day, guys.